horror till New Year's. I went off tempo. Well, that was interesting. What did you think was interesting about it? That nothing was resolved. And not only is he continuing his work, he could be anywhere. Yeah. Any rental. Yeah. I was beginning to wonder, imagine if we are actually under surveillance. Yeah. This is a rental after all. They're not seeing much. Have you seen me? <laughs> this isn't like, ooh, Philip's in the shower. <laughs> Ain't no one thinking that. And you know me. Ah, you see me. Yes, I know you like what you see. That you pose for the camera. Yes. Yeah. This was just a story about three very unlikable characters and one lady just like caught in the wrong people have a bad weekend. They were written so irritating. Lee. Like they were just, I don't know if it was the dialogue. Like I've seen some of these actors and other things and they're not bad. This was just. They were written to be irritable people. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. People not to be completely sympathized with, yeah, while at the same yeah. time, yes, wanting them to, still wanting them to somehow escape. No, I didn't care about them at all. I care about the lady. She was innocent. She didn't do anything. Things like, like this. I, I, I don't care if the other three survived or not. They were horrible people. I just, I just, they were, and no, it was just, it wasn't just because of their actions. It was just how they acted. They acted like such, like, like douchebags. Like the one lady was just entitled as hell. And usually the guy I like and stuff, he's been in some good stuff. I know, I, I just think I just think it was the way they were written in the dialogue that, that was uh, written for them. I don't think it's the actors' faults at all. I just think that it was the characters that were written for them were so obtuse as people that it wasn't and that could have been the point. It probably was the point. I hope it was the point. Jeez. But I think you could have written them irritably less irritatingly. I think they were written irritatingly, irritatingly. <laughs> I think it was, I don't think it was good writing. Like the characters, no one seemed to have any chemistry. Like they were acting, but I didn't get any, like, none of them felt like couples, which may have been the point again, because they were the two or two, whatever. But even then, before then, like all the play, kissy play dialogue just felt so, if, it felt like if an alien or an AI, this, this movie felt like it was written by an AI. If an AI had written, like, love and romance and dating, this is what an AI would write. Because it was so just uncanny valley feeling. It just was... Like, this movie would have been stronger had we not had the reveal of, like, mystery killer guy. Like, just let them implode. Make the movie about that. Let them, let them like, the wife says, or the, the, the one, I think she was the wife, says, can't do this, she drives off. But she has a change of heart. And then brother blindsides her. Like the brother just like, and then the brother and the girlfriend end up being kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde thing, where they're working together to try and figure it out. But they end up killing the other brother. Like let them, let that unfold. That would have been way more exciting to watch. Watch the entire these these shitty people implode upon themselves. It actually looked like that that was part of the. It was somewhere in the development of the story because of the film footage and the yeah. text messages, yeah. it looked like he was trying to get them against each other. Yeah, yeah. So it looked like what you're describing is something that was probably in the project of the writing. Of Maybe. This, I don't know. For some reason, didn't get worked out like that. Otherwise, guy is just like, I'm going to show you your secrets and then kill you. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> like, it's, 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 it's a dick thing to do, <laughs> like it's, but it's unnecessary. And that could, again, that could be the point. It's an unnecessarily dick thing to do. But why? You could have devoted like more more character development to something like, I don't know, or like the freaking jilted wife. She ends up just snapping and just takes everyone else out. Because she would have a reason to, well, except for, well, at the end, yeah, she could have wanted to kill the other brother too. I, know, I just found the girlfriend to be really obnoxious. And it's just like, Maybe shut the fuck up sometimes. For me to say that is a like, you know, pot kettle thing. Because I just, I speak what I feel. And if I'm irritated or I feel slighted, I'm going to say it. I, I can't help it. But even I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Don't ask about the dog. Yes, Don't bring up. place for different things. 
if you want if you, if you want to talk to the guy outside about why didn't you rent to me instead of my colleague do that outside do it when you're done on the last day when you drop all the keys ask him then like do not like foster confrontation you just got there yeah this guy was like what the hell are you pe- you crazy kids <laughs> like what are you talking about <laughs> Where's my dog? Are you recording us? What? Indeed. Like, it good lord. That he had nothing to do Exactly. With it. Like, that poor guy. Just, <laughs> he had to, he had the bad misfortune of just like B and B serial killer <laughs> guy, which wasn't needed. I, I think the inclusion of that really uh, hindered this movie. I think it would have been a stronger movie if we just watched these four people implode. Because you have like three shitty people and then one that's oh, you're like you're, you're one good person you can do that you can make a really strong movie out of that you could have any one of them well no it either has to be i don't know yeah well maybe yeah see like they were such volatile personalities and not just angry volatile but like i don't know like they were trying to show the one couple as like fucked up but in love like okay and everyone got way more believable once the shit hit the fan. Like when they, they were good at being stressed and exacerbated. But I think the, the earlier stuff when they're trying to be all like kissy and lovey and hey bro, hey bro, 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 bro stuff. It was just awkward. I feel the same way in my head. I kept on saying, all right, all right, your brothers, we get it. Next scene. Yeah, it was... It, it, it was, a, it was a bit too much. Like, someone needed to tweak the script and tweak the characters. Like, this needed a different set of eyes. I mean, I think this, this script needed a different set of eyes on it. Just someone to kind of make it, like, smooth out the edges. But if you're going to have edges on your character, then you make the movie about the characters with those edges. Not some mystery killer person that just, it's an anchor on a ship. It's just, you know, it can't go anywhere because it's just stuck. I, 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 think, I think the mystery killer person is kind of silly. I think the last 10 minutes were unnecessary. I think if you'd done this about, I said, four friends who had a very bad weekend, <laughs> you have a stronger movie because these characters were jagged enough to pull it off, I think. You had like an entitled woman who had a point, her just, her way, the way she went about it was just, look, and I get, don't play by the rules. So, you know, it's a man's world and it's a white man's world. You don't need to conform to the politeness of that society. But, like, she was just, like, a walking middle finger. <laughs> like, just dial it back a bit. Or still have your activism and your, your right to be angry. But what you're doing is just making everything worse. And you don't care. So it's, like, okay. Then you have the volatile, I'm into jail, brother. And then the poor... <laughs> I thought it was funny, the double-edged sword of... The wife being all, no, no, I'm not going to take any drugs tonight. I want to go on my hike tomorrow. The next day I was like, oh, I'm going to take my drugs anyway. <laughs> no one would take drugs with her. She was mad. It's like, well, it was your choice. You could have done drugs with them that night. You didn't have to go on. The hike wasn't that important, was it? To her, she was bouncing. like, dee, 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 happy. But I don't know. That was just. <laughs> she had the only empathy for me in this movie. Well, that her and the. Uh, the caretaker guy, because mm-hmm. he was innocent too. He was as surprised as they were to see those cameras in the shop. Yeah, yeah. And so he, he, he's like, yeah, we need to call the cops. This is bad. <laughs> like, we need to call someone. No one's like, no, no. Like, uh, I, I know. I, I just think like once the, the shift went, went from their entanglement to this external force, it just kind of like deflated a balloon. It's like <laughs> around the room because I think that like just like the decision to dump the body and how troubled she was by it to point she left. I think that that guy from her confronting the guy to her driving off were good. That was good. I liked that. Cause it just showed how stupid and obnoxious and volatile and just knives out these people were. And like when she left, like I, of course we didn't do a reaction. But I should have done a reaction. So I've been like, what the fuck <laughs> to this movie? When she drove away, I was like, good, good for you. Yes. <laughs> Oh, your thing is popped. Oh, there's things on the ground. I'm not going to go back and sit in the car. Like, I would probably still be killed anyway in the woods, but I don't know. I don't know what I would do if I were her. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. That is actually a good question. Had I 
seen those spikes, then yeah. yes, I would be much more cautious. If I didn't, well, I tried to see if I could get roadside assistance. If I couldn't do that, then all right. If I'm that stubborn, then I'll walk the rest of the way. Well, I mean, no, I mean, as far as there being a killer. And well, yes, with a killer. Well, I'm afraid that there's nothing that I can do about that. Yeah, exactly. But if you were trying to figure out how to escape the movie, it's like, man, do you like go? Do you run? Do you go back to the house? Do you like? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gotten back in the car. And up until the end, I, I don't would think I how much else of the place is on surveillance. Yeah, exactly. Where is there to hide? Yeah, yeah. Where to run? It's all on camera. Yeah. This is a weird movie. I do like it, though, that well, what they may have tried to have done, which was to have him be some sort of mastermind killer, it's, it's too messy to do all of the slasher things yourself. Why not have them do that to each other yeah. for your own amusement? Yeah. And then move on to the next place. It's I guess. much more convenient that way. Yeah, but as we saw with the other footage, everyone was getting along and having fun. He just lucked out into the one group of people that were just three out of three out of four dentists don't recommend. Three out of four people. In this movie. Yeah, this is this just felt like a very strange movie. And the inclusion of the mystery person was and it was very good. Or needed. It did not benefit the movie in any way. It was going fine. Well, it started awkwardly and I didn't like it. And the middle part was better. Then the ending was bad. So Let's see what your notes have to say about that. I don't know. Let's see. Phillips notes. My first note. <laughs> They're all annoying people. <laughs> My first guess was, well, considering how close at the beginning the professionals were. Yeah. Each other, I yeah. thought, oh, are they the couple? No, they aren't the couple. She's with... Him? And then I thought, oh, are you in a poly yeah, relationship yeah. of some kind? Yeah. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Right. It's, that it's unexpected, but yes. it turned out, uh, no, that is not the case. Yeah, no, they were very close. Yes, they seemed very, very close, as if, imagine being that close to a someone who's nothing more than a co-worker. I think that things are going to get more lovey-dovey as time goes by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought the same thing at first. I was like, are you guys in a open thing with each other? Oh, you're brothers. Do you wife swap? It could happen. And then I wrote, written poorly. This is like my second note. We're like maybe <laughs> five to ten minutes into this movie. And I'm already writing these things. It was just so stilted. And I wrote, three of the four people here are dicks. <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> then I wrote... Oh my God, can something please happen? I was not enjoying the world building we were doing here. I was not enjoying the character development, in quotations, that we were doing here. I was like, can something just please happen? And then it did later. I'm like, no, not this though. <laughs> something else happened. Something not guy in mask. <laughs> I got what I wanted, but it wasn't what I wanted. And then the guy had the jets in the hot tub. And then the other lady's like, give me your jets. And I'm like, get your own jets. Like, I wrote, I wrote, I was like, this is a bratty character. She's bratty. I didn't like her. We're written that way on purpose. Probably the point, but still, oh my god. It seemed like a very obvious scene that, all right, they, this is definitely going to be some sort of affair that's going yeah, to happen. It's, yeah. All of the pieces are here and they're I'm, all being played. Yeah, yeah. I'm so in the, in the capsule of her, like, wanting his yeah. jets. I'm like, get your own jets. I'm like, why? Because she was so, like, demandy of things. Like, Blah, 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 Like, I expect this. I'm not even going to speculate why, because people will get mad at me. And then the moral, I wrote, I wrote like, midway. I'm like, is there a moral of the story? Men and women just can't be friends. <laughs> not in this movie. In this movie, no one can be friends. And then they see the cameras in the showers, and I wrote, most obvious cameras ever. Like, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah. How did no one else ever see those? Like, you don't, like, I always look into the shower. Like, do you not look into a shower head? Do people at home, do you not look into shower heads? Like... <laughs> Do you just get in and put your head down with shampoo? Like, no one looks up at the shower head, like, when you're turning it on? Or, like, even, like, we turn ours off from the outside of the tub. I, I still look up to see when the, the, the water's coming out. It was, uh, it was a big red thing. It was yeah. stupid. It stuck out like an extremely big, huge red pimple. Yeah. They're the only people that have seen that? Or maybe the people that find it, he kills them. Maybe those are the people he kills. That's a game for him. But we don't know because he's so mysterious. Uh, and then I wrote, this movie didn't even need the stalker angle. 
It didn't. Like, and I wrote that one that we showed when it showed the guy looking at it on his phone. I was like, it didn't. It didn't need this. I was like, oh, this could have been a really cool character. Like I said earlier, wife drives off, and I wrote, good for her. Yay, good for her. The dude doing all this sends the video to the volatile brother of them. Well, first it was a text, that was a picture, then it was a video. I'm like, these are some messy killers. <laughs> like, they just want to start a mess and then kill you when they're done. It's so weird. But I was happy because I wanted him to find out before he died. I was like, I want you to know. Now you know, now you can die. And then when the killer was um, hunting her down and she threw her shoe off the edge, I wrote, is she some on your next stuff? Like, was she going to be like some super badass assassin lady and take the killer out? Like, I thought maybe she lived off the cliff and she's going to come back. Like, when he was sitting there, I expected her to like come in and like stab him in the head or something because she lived. Yes. But it I, didn't happen. I also wondered that because... When she fell, I didn't hear a splash. I was like, wouldn't she have heard the water? It was loud. It's the ocean. <laughs> the ocean is loud. <laughs> Especially against a cliff. I've been to places like that. It's loud. That was not still water. It was like, whoosh, 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 against the side of the rocks. Ocean. And, and the mist was actually what was leading me to think that she was getting close to water. Well, not just that, but she would, you would still hear, if you're running towards the ocean, you're going to hear the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. I would stop if I heard the ocean like right in front of me. But we, we had the music that was distracting us. She didn't have that. She, she wasn't like, wee in her head as she was running. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> uh, she had the least gruesome death, though. We that is true. We could actually see her corpse. That is true, yeah, yeah. I was kind of open for some, like, Friday the 13th stuff where, like, she's just running through the house and, like, he just throws corpses through windows and she finds them hanging in, like, a freaking closet or something. I wanted that. I didn't get that. I was making the movie better in my head <laughs> as we were watching it. My version of this movie would have been a lot better. Before she fell in the water, though, there, there was that chase scene, that really stupid, dumb chase scene, that really, really long, stupid, dumb chase scene, that really obnoxiously long, stupid, dumb chase scene, and... He's running full speed at her, like, Ooh. she's like, uh, 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 limp. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, he would have ran past you, had time to run around a tree like 55 times, and then come out you and clothesline you, and then throw you in the ocean. She'd be like, uh, uh. And he's like, right behind her, next shot of her running, and he's nowhere there. I like, hate that. I can usually forgive it. But in a movie that was like poorly written with really obnoxious characters that were really, really dumb and or just shitty and unneeded stuff, I was like, don't throw more stupid bullshit into this movie. This is dumb. This is bad filmmaking. Stop it. Maybe he was trying to uh, let her be her own demise. He was running full speed. Yeah. He was like sprint running. She was limp walking. He was right behind her in one scene. In the scene when he's like over, like when it's like her in the background, him in the foreground, he's like, he's right behind her. Then the scene of her like running towards the camera, he's nowhere. Like the fog is not that thick. Just because she's a stupid dumbass that ran off the edge because she can't hear the ocean because the fog's so thick. Does not mean that. No. That was insulting. No. I will not be insulted by this movie. Not this movie, no. When Scream 6 wants to insult me, fine. I'm at least being entertained. And maybe there's eye candy. And there's at least one likable character somewhere. <laughs> Jeez. It was, it, was, it was silly. It was absurd and silly and obnoxious. And I don't care. I, I, it's not even a nitpick. It's people are like, you're just nitpicking. No, I'm not. This was just bad filmmaking. This was bad. That is all for my notes. Anything else? Our friend pictures on our Patreon. This was just... I don't, I don't know about this one. There's at least one thing that I did like about it. Okay. It left that air of mystery. It didn't have that long soliloquy of, this is the reason for everything. Ah, uh, yeah, the villain explanations stuff. Yeah. Yes, the ones that I yeah. said and, well... Or I, done, or done. Yeah, yeah. In this one, we have no idea what the motivations were, if any. Yeah, just a... Addicted to killing. And like the, the hunt. Yes. Yeah. And how does he get these properties? Does he... Oh, he doesn't get the properties. He just goes there, makes a copy of the key while he's there, puts up cameras, and then just comes in and out as he pleases. 
Yes. But as far as how he chooses them, which is what you might have been saying. Yes, I'm wondering, did you want this one? Did you get a serve? Did you survey the place secretly? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, because the one looked like it was in the city, and I'm like, wouldn't that be harder to get rid of the evidence then? Yes. Whereas the lake house or the ocean side one, yeah, that's super easy. Easy place to hide. Yeah, bodies. yeah. So yeah, I don't know. More answer questions. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe that's his challenge to himself. Maybe, maybe they could have just been like, let's do one in the city because it's not the country or the ocean side, rather. Let's just go the exact opposite. This movie is not very deep. So I don't think they really thought they're like, ocean, opposite ocean, city. We do city now. <laughs> I don't think it was that deep. I'm sorry if you were in this movie or made this movie. I'm not trying to shit on your movie. There, were, there was something here. You had something here for like half an hour. There was something good here in the middle. All but, right, so maybe I'm giving the slasher himself too much credit. I, I don't know. No, you might be giving the writer too much credit. As well as the slasher. Hmm. Like, yeah, their the, the era mystery is fine. But again, it's not needed. Like, none of this was needed. This was just... Keeping something esoteric does not mean it's like, ooh, it's so mysterious there. I'm, oh, it's not so bad. Because look, they made it mysterious. They didn't give us all the answers. Well, well yeah. fine, but... <laughs> I must admit, uh, this thing that reminded me of the... Twilight Zone episode of invaders coming to Earth, but instead mm -hmm. of actually invading, they simply flickered with people's lights. Well, they caused a blackout mm -hmm. and then had one person's lights turn on and the people are thinking, ah, you're the reason for this. And then the other lights turn on. No, you're the one who is responsible for this. And they fight amongst each other. And the people who are invading, they're satisfied knowing that it's much easier to have them go against each other than to actually do it ourselves. There you go. And I'm yeah. I was wondering that maybe, that's more interesting. And I was wondering if maybe that was what was sort of in the the coming together of the actual story until it was finally put together. Maybe because that's what I think. If that was the point of the film footage and the text mm. messages, yeah, maybe try to get them against each other so that either they'll end up intentionally or unintentionally killing each other, or at least they'll hate each other, so they'll be less likely to fight for each other because there's more strength in numbers, so pit them against each other. Yes. Which would have been fine if they'd just done that. I would have accepted it as a voyeur thing that just watched. He did not need to get involved. So he still could have, the, the cameras could have been there. He could have been like a, just a really creepy person. Someone that simply liked to look into people's shots. Yeah. And just, yeah, just start mess. Like he still could have sent them videos and stuff. Like everything, all that stuff could still could have happened. I wanted to see them implode. You keep him out of it. As far as like a character on screen. I don't need to see him looking at his phone. I don't need to see any... The dog can still be missing. That's fine. But just no, no presence of this character on the screen at all. Just this unknown entity spying on them and then sending them stuff to mess with them and watch. I would have accepted that. And then you watch them self-destruct. Which is what I wanted. I wanted to watch these characters, you know, go at it. Like you were saying. Yes, that I would definitely have really... I would have... Like you, I would have really liked to have seen the story go that way. Yeah, yeah. I think it would have been a much, much better story. You can still, yeah. The guy could have been in the movie, but he didn't need to be in the movie. Yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a stronger movie here if you go that route. But, oh well. Oh well. They didn't. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add about this movie? No. All righty. I think that we touched everything. Yeah. <laughs> so did he. All right. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> dun, 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 goodbye. Dun. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've been told I should say that a lot more, but I'm really awkward when it comes to selling myself. I think I make a really bad prostitute. I'm not good at keeping tempo.